Hey guys, welcome to Leo the Lycan, aka the HQ of Metal. Now, metal music to me is rebellion, expression, brutality, non conformity, oneness, victory, and serenity. In this video, we'll be looking back at 30 years of Hammerheart by the band Bathory. Now, before we get into the video, today's question is what is your favorite song from the album Hammerheart? How did Bathory transition from black metal to viking metal well Bathory had different musical identities over their career whether it be black metal speed metal thrash metal or the studio bound one man band in innovators but arguably the greatest iteration responsible for leaving the biggest impact on heavy metal history came as them being the originators of the viking metal subsect it's possibly this album hammerheart that shows this even more than this than certainly more than gradually diminishing subsequent efforts like trial of the gods blood on ice and even the two-part album nordland under any circumstance these albums were quite impressive for a group that a few years before wanted nothing more than to just recreate venom trying to sound like venom albeit with a certain flair of their own for their formative demos, a couple of attention grabbing contributors to the Scandinavian Metal Attack compilation and even eventually their first self titled album. Each album saw Quofong expanding his musical range almost impeccably at, on the 1985 album, The Return, and then a little more on the, pre, on the next album, Under the Sign of the Black Mark. Hammerheart's release. In 1990, metal fans were learning a lot more about Crowthorn, the front battery frontman. Still, just at 24 years old, he even said to the Kerrang journalist at the time, Paul Miller, saying that he's n not a Viking sitting as fog nor a vampire. He's never eaten a small child, although he did have he did admit that he was close to becoming a teenage alcoholic. I'm a heart did in death did not sound anything like the work of a savage, not by a long shot. And on the album you have songs like Shores in Flames, Valhalla, One Road to Asa Bay, which delivered deliberate, majestic heavy metal on a wide scale. And proof that Quoborn's songwriting had, mat had matured by leaps and bounds, as quasi-symphonic -symphon arrangements and clean singing replaced the sonic maelstrom and bestial screeching of old and though they didn't officially constitute a concert album all of Hammerheart's songs dealt in Norse mythology and mythology be it other songs that look at burial rites like baptized in fire and ice family rituals in father to son the tension between pagan beliefs and Christianity home of once brave and referring to prayers to Odin himself on song to hold up high but this precisely was would wind up ha, would wind up happening in 1992 via the first three triumphant jubileum volumes which conveniently arrived just as Bathory's winning streak was about to crash and burn with their supposed not so great not so great albums being Wequiem and Octagon as a result Hammerheart's Hammerheart would wind up, represent, wind up representing the undisputed peak of Bathory's career. They have too many strong efforts for everyone to agree on that, for sure. Then surely their final unqualified triumph all the way until Quothorn unfortunately died from heart failure in 2004 and he was just only 38. Okay guys, there you have it. So before signing off, here's just a reminder of today's question. What is your favourite song off this album? And don't forget to like the video, comment down below and subscribe if you want to see more from me.